What's going on YouTube? Gios now right here. Today I have huge news for you if you're interested in jailbreaking. ZecOps have released their exploit for iOS 13.7 and lower and this can be used for jailbreaking purposes. It's actually fully open source. Stick around and we're going to get into this. So as you probably are aware the Frida Sandbox movement said that they're going to release an exploit, an LPE related exploit and this is what we got in here. They posted today as I predicted quote running code in the context of the kernel part one plus local privilege escalation POC or proof of concept on iOS 13.7. Of course, this works on 13.7, 13.6, 13.6.1, 13.5.1 13 and stuff like that. So all these in here should be supported. Now, as far as I know, this is also compatible with the A12 and A13 devices, so it can definitely be used for jailbreak purposes. It's actually the exploit by 08TC3WBB, you probably remember them, and of course they released it through Zecops. Basically, Zecops has a bug bounty program and that's how we got this exploit. The vulnerabilities are actually described in here part to part, but that's not actually what's important for jailbreak purposes. What's important is this, the local privilege escalation POC, which gets you TFP0, and most importantly, this is GPL v3 as license, so anybody can use it in any jailbreak with no strings attached. So this is pretty good. Now if you open the folders in here, you can see the entire exploit files, and if you open the view controller, you can see what it calls for the functions that would get TFP0. So so the first one is run exploit or achieve TFP0 and this one calls the entire logic to get the exploit working. Now I have very great news about this and those are the fact that the exploit has almost 100% success rate. According to Ahmed Aldiab in here who basically tried it, they said that the exploit has very high success rate, basically 100% and this is actually good. You can see from the photo that they posted, this is on 13.5.1 but they were able to get a TFP0 and a KASLR slide which is basically for other space layout randomization and they even got SSH which is perfect because if you remember the exploit released a couple of days ago by Simo wasn't exactly very stable while this one seems to be very good it achieves what it needs very very easily. If you're interested in reading the whole thing about it where the vulnerabilities are what happened how they exploited them definitely do so it's available here on the blog on the Zcaps but what's important for jailbreak purposes and of course for updating the tools like the uh, Odyssey and stuff like that is that the exploit has been released. This can be taken by any jailbreak developer at this point, including myself, and added to a jailbreak. This is pretty good, so I would likely use this for my Blizzard jailbreak, which is my jailbreak tool in here. It will be ready at some point, and I will definitely use the exploit in here, because this seems to be pretty powerful, and since it has a great success rate, according to Ahmed in here, this is definitely going to be interesting. But I assume other jailbreaks will be updated as well. Talking here about Odyssey, possibly even uncover. We don't know for now, there is no word from Pawn, but the exploit that was released is definitely useful for jailbreak purposes. It's exactly what they promised, an LPE or local privilege escalation, which does give us TFP0. This is definitely great. So if you're running 13.7, 13.6.1, 13.6 or 13.5.1 on any device, this should work for you. If you're already on iOS 14.0, 14.0.1 or 14.1 or even 14.2, this is not going to work and unfortunately you're not able to download downgrade at this point back to 13.7. So if you're running iOS 14, this is definitely not going to work for you, but stay as low as possible. We may get releases for iOS 14 in the future as well. So yeah, if you're interested in my Blizzard jailbreak, I will definitely push a beta in the future for this jailbreak using this exploit here, so definitely stick around for that. So yep, yeah, thanks to Zekops for their release, and thanks for the free the sandbox movement. So yep, yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated, and peace out.